All right, guys, so here are the ingredients we're going to be using. Okay. All right, so back there I have two cups of cooked white long grain rice. Here I have two stalks of chopped celery. This is one small onion, chopped, and then one stick of butter. And then here I have 12 ounces of cooked chopped broccoli. This was actually frozen. I just went ahead and steamed it up. And then here I have two cans each of cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. And then here, of course, we have one big cheese log or something of Velveeta. We will not be using all of the cheese, and I will explain what I mean by that. And then, of course, just salt and pepper to taste. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the oven to 350 degrees, get that preheated, and now we're going to grab a pan. So we're going to add the stick of butter. Okay, to get that butter to melt, just like that. Okay. Now to this we're going to add the celery. I know a lot of you are like, celery? Yes. This is an ingredient that we add. Celery and the onion. Add all the onion. I usually aim for a white small onion because these kids, I mean, they can pick out a piece of onion and then that's it, they won't eat it. But you have to have onion in this dish especially. So we're gonna let that saute. I didn't let the oil heat up. I mean, I didn't let the butter heat up enough, but it'll work. You'll start to hear it. All right, so now we're gonna add the broccoli. It's already cooked, but it's okay just to kind of get a, a little flavor in there. So there we go. So that is ready. Okay. Let's take that off the, uh, the stove, just like that, push it off to the side. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a big bowl. We're gonna use this big bowl. And we're going to and then we're going to empty out the rice. Like I said, it's about two cups, so that'll work. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and break it up. Just like that. So now we're gonna add the cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of chicken. And we're gonna add the other can of cream of mushroom, just like that. And we're gonna add the other can as well. Just go ahead and give that a stir real quick. Got that mixed in there good. Now we're gonna add our mixture in here, okay? Go ahead and add that in. All of it with the butter and everything. Just pour it in there directly from the pan. Just like this. Okay. So now we're gonna add the cheese. Let's go ahead and cut the cheese up. We're gonna do about eight ounces. We're gonna start with eight ounces. Now, this part with the cheese, and what I meant by earlier, we're not gonna use it all. It all depends on how much cheese you want. Okay? How cheap, how you want it, you wanna kinda, how much, like what I'm trying to say, how cheesy do you want it? Okay, so we're gonna do this. So this is eight ounces. Off in there, just like that. See, just like that. So I think we're gonna add more cheese. So we're gonna add another eight ounces to this. Just like that. That'll work. Maybe just not all of it, but that'll work right there. 
And every year I add more, I add less. It's, it's one of those dishes, guys, that there's no precise measurements to this. Once you figure out how to make it the first time, you'll know. Okay. All right, so let's grab our pan. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Here's our pan. We're gonna get some of that butter nonstick. Just spray the pan. Now we're gonna empty this out into here. Try to grab it. Here we go. Just like that, see? Oh wow. This stuff is so good. Okay. Just like that, see? Oops. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Just kind of pat it in there. Okay. And then I like to put pepper on it. I didn't add salt because it, it's kind of salty already. I think with the butter and the cheese, but pepper definitely. Now you're going to place it onto a cookie sheet and you're going to put it into a 350 degree oven and I'm going to show you how it looks afterwards. Alright guys, so here it is. This is the broccoli rice casserole. Now one thing I did do is once I put it in the oven, like 10 minutes into the cooking time, I went in there and I stirred it, like mixed it all well, that way the cheese can disperse evenly throughout the casserole. Then I went ahead and just topped it back like that. And I left it in there for about total time, about 30 minutes. And this is how it looks. This is how I make it. I know um, some people melt the cheese before, but um, this is just how we do it. This is how my sister taught me how to make it. But I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys give it a try. And give it a thumbs up. See you guys later.